Hi guys, I'm Abhinav. I'm at Speed Monks Performance Center in Gurgaon today. And behind me is my Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. Today, the objective of this video is we are going to install a Powertronic piggyback unit on the motorcycle. Um, you know, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with this motorcycle. So we ended up dropping quite a bit of weight from the bike. It's about 15, 16 kilos lighter. It's about 164 kilos dry right now. Uh, stock bike, I believe, is about 179 dry or something. Anyway, so the bike is lighter. I also now have a performance exhaust on the motorcycle. Let me first show that to you. This is the MNTB Craftsman Private Limited Rally Exhaust. Now, this exhaust has been, the design is mine. They manufactured it. This works on the Gorilla as well. So this is a slip-on unit with a decat pipe. So basically what we have over here, the header is the same. So it has a pre-cat over here. And then it attaches to the, uh, where is it? It attaches to the, uh, uh, you know, the decat pipe. So the resonator box is gone. And uh, the slip-on, it comes and it meets the exhaust can. So it's a very old school rally kind of look, which sort of complements the rally cowl on the motorcycle along with the rally seat. So, you know, when um, we run this motorcycle now with just this exhaust, it makes about 2.5 horsepower more than the stock motorcycle at the rear wheel. So we dynoed it at race dynamics, not this particular motorcycle, but a setup similar to this. We dynoed this at, in Bangalore at Race Dynamics and the motorcycle, it was making about 34.1 horsepower at the rear wheel, the stock motorcycle. With just the exhaust, you end up gaining about two and a half horsepower on top of that at the rear wheel. But, you know, we also ran another setup. It's this bike, it has uh, a way to speed aftermarket air filter. It also has a Fuel X Pro Plus, which runs on the richest setting, map number 10. And now Race Dynamic, Race Dynamics, they've sent me a Powertronic unit for this motorcycle. So today we are going to install this. We have already dyno tested this particular Powertronic unit on this motorcycle with this exhaust, the Fuel X Pro Plus and the air filter. And we are getting uh, you know, a little over 5 horsepower at the rear wheel, 5.1. So, um, that's, a, that's an amazing number, right? So, if you extrapolate those figures, you are getting about 6 horsepower, 6 additional horsepower at the, uh, at the crank. So, if you know this motorcycle is advised as a 40 PS motorcycle from the factory at the crank, this particular build is a 46 PS build. So 46 PS, 164 kilos, you know, you uh, run it with about 8 liters, 6, 8 liters of fuel and, you know, whatever engine oil. Uh, of course, you can't run it with less engine oil, but it's a very light setup, you know. It's a light setup to do trails to, I mean, it's an adventure touring motorcycle, but you can do trails on this bike, um, some really gnarly trails. Uh, I've even ridden it in enduro situations. This bike can pretty much do it all. So let's just try and extract a little bit more power from this motorcycle today. Let's quickly take a look at what is inside the box. Cover comes off. So by the way, um, if you take a look, this costs 19,500 rupees inclusive, inclusive of all taxes. This is the Powertronic 4.0. And um, they are also working on a quick shifter that will be compatible with this Powertronic unit. So, you know, I, I believe the few years ago when I had it on my interceptor, the quick shifter was about 13, 14,000 rupees. Uh, I don't know how much it will cost, but this time on this motorcycle, you know, there's inflation and whatnot. But it should be a fun addition once you get a quick shifter. So, let's take a look here. Oh, so it opens this way. And um, if I just keep it here, we have the main piggyback unit with the connectors. 
and the entire wiring harness. And along with that, they, you get you know, zip ties to uh, uh, basically secure everything. There is a USB to connect this to you know, uh, the computer, right? So that you can download the maps. Phone, phone. Oh, actually, to your phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. V4, V4 ki connectivity phone se hai. Aap mapping hogaira, sab phone se kar sakte. Oh, this is something that I did not know. That's pretty cool. And the app hai inka, wo Android ke liye hai. Achha, wo mere ko lagta bhi nahi iPhone ke liye aayega. iPhone mein wo chal nahi raha. And there is a micro relay as well. Okay, so this is what comes inside the box. Let's. Oh wait, there's something else. So. Um, you also get this uh, race dynamic powertronic module this if you uh, you know instead of the powertronic unit if you just put this uh, the motorcycle runs on the stock ecu map and uh, you know all these lights this is also a way to test you know whether the ecu is uh, whether everything has been fit properly whether everything is functioning properly so yeah and uh, this is this wire is to connected to your computer so male to female USB type A connector and USB type, type, C. type C, it goes into your phone. So this is how it will be. Right now, the, uh, this particular unit, it comes with a map installed. The map has been developed for this particular setup, this particular exhaust along with an air filter and a fuel X Pro Plus. So we don't need to alter the maps. We just need to install this on the bike. The first thing we need to do is take off the seat. I have a lithium phosphate battery over here. And on top of that, the fuel X Pro Plus module. We'll need to see how we can make space over here to fit the Powertronic unit also. And if I just pick it up, not sure where exactly it will fit, maybe somewhere over here. So you have to take out the entire air box and uh, disconnect just about everything. The throttle body, um, everything comes out. I think all the wiring is going to go underneath all of this. We've installed all the wiring, all the couplers have been installed. Now what we need to do is install the fuel tank, then attach this module to the stock coupler. Uh, which Ajay is doing just now and then um, we will check whether everything has been installed correctly and running fine if everything has been installed correctly all the lights will turn on the 17 liter massive fuel tank you know, at least um, if somebody is interested in doing a rally on this motorcycle I know it's not a rally motorcycle but if Let's just say if somebody wants to do a rally on this motorcycle, I would suggest trying out the Gorilla's fuel tank on this bike. Uh, I'm sure all that you'll need to change is, you know, maybe uh, the mounting attachments, etc. Because primarily the main frame is the same. The attachment points would be different, so might have to fabricate a little bit. But it should, I would like to believe, you know, the Gorilla fuel tank should fit on this motorcycle. So it'll give you a slimmer profile, um, you know, uh, it's, it should be lighter. The stock tank on the Himalayan, I weighed it once, it's about 6.8 kilos. Maybe the Gorilla's tank is 2 kilos lighter, who knows. But there's always a possibility once you try, it might turn out to be great. It might not turn out to be great, but worth a shot, I think. Um, Ajay, what do exactly to do now? Check it out. Now, check it out, there are the lights in the lights. जो जो फंक्शन होगा ना जिस बाइक के हिसाब से उसके अंदर वो लाइट्स जलेंगी ठीक है हां अब जैसे इंजेक्टर का एक कपलर हमने लगाया और एक स्पार्क का कपलर लगाया Correct. ठीक है हाँ. दो कपलर्स की वायरिंग आती है इसके साथ स्पार्क की और इंजेक्टर की करेक्ट स्पार्क मींस स्पार्क प्लग हां हां ठीक है स्पार्क पावर और इंजेक्टर पावर जब हम ऑन करेंगे तो ये दोनों लाइट्स ऑन होनी चाहिए हां ठीक है ऑन होगी करेक्ट ठीक है अब जिन बाइक्स में थ्रोटल पोजीशन सेंसर होता है जैसे इसके अंदर है अपना इंटरसेप्टर में करेक्ट ठीक है तो उसके अंदर जब हम थ्रोटल ट्विस्ट करते हैं ना हां तो ये लाइट ऑन होता है ठीक है टीपीएस तो अब ऑन करने पे इंजेक्टर का कपलर लगाया और स्पार्क प्लग का कपलर लगाया ना तो ये कपलर दोनों ब्लिंक करने चाहिए ठीक है ठीक है जब हम बाइक का इग्निशन ऑन करेंगे It 
मीन्स हमारी दोनों चीजें सही चल रही है हाँ सो नाउ दैट यू नो वी नो थिंग्स आर वर्किंग जस्ट फाइन ऑल वी हैव टू डू इज इंस्टॉल द मेन पिगी बैक ई सी यू ओके डन एंड वी विल कीप इट ह्योर वेर यू नो द टूल किट वुड अर्लियर सेट अंडर द सीट वील हैव टू फिगर आउट वेर टू कीप द टूल किट नाउ बट या स्पेस इज वेरी लिमिटेड now what we've done is we have connected the main unit the powertronic piggyback unit to the laptop we've opened the powertronic app it's called the um artune pt app it's available to download from the race dynamics website ab ajay bhai over to you kya karna hota hai kuch nahi karna hai yaar pehle connect kar diya uske baad ab bike on karna hai ignition ha theek hai उसके बाद यहाँ पे जब आप कनेक्ट करोगे ना अभी तो जैसे यू एस बी पे किया हुआ हमने हाँ हाँ कोम थ्री सीरियल लिख के आता है पहले हाँ आपने अगर यू एस बी से कनेक्ट करा हुआ है इसको हाँ तो यू एस बी पे क्लिक करना है उसके बाद कनेक्ट ए का बटन दबा देना है डैशबोर्ड पूरा चेंज हो जाएगा भाई अभी ओके हाँ जो ये फ्यूल का जो ये रेशो है ये पूरा इसमें बन के आ रहा है आपका पूरा हाँ हाँ ठीक है अब जाना है हमने कंट्रोल सेटिंग्स में ओके ठीक है जब इसका क्विक शिफ्टर आ जाएगा ना तो क्विक शिफ्टर सेटिंग्स ये क्विक शिफ्टर सेटिंग्स जैसे अभी इनएक्टिव है ना हाँ जब लगा देंगे तो, तो यहाँ से एक्टिव हो जाएगी ठीक है यहाँ पे आ गए कंट्रोल सेटिंग्स ठीक है अब लोड कैलिब्रेशन लोड कैलिब्रेशन हाँ हाँ एक्टिव स्टे एट आइडलिंग देन क्लिक द बटन ठीक है ओके सो वी विल आइडल दिन दो सेकेंड रुको मुझे उस साइड जाने दो लोड कैलिब्रेशन ठीक है अब वो डैशबोर्ड चला गया अपना दोबारा से इनएक्टिव हो गया अच्छा उसके बाद जितना भी डाटा अभी आया उसको पुराने डाटा को बंद करना है इसको नए वाले को सेव कर देना है ठीक है ठीक है यहाँ पे आ गए ना राइटिंग टू फ्लैश डन ठीक है लाइव डाटा फॉर ठीक है यहाँ से इसको डिस्कनेक्ट एक बार बाइक पहले बंद नहीं करनी पड़ेगी हाँ बाइक पहले बंद करके करेंगे या नहीं नहीं ऐसे ही ऐसे पहले डिस्कनेक्ट होगा यहाँ से डिस्कनेक्ट यहाँ से बंद उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सो बेसिकली हमने जो ई को जो पिगी बैक यूनिट है उसको बाइक के स्टॉक ई से मैरी कर दिया ये करना पड़ता है बिना इसके नहीं चले ओके इट कैन ऑल्सो बी डन ऑन द फोन नाउ दट्स द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट द लेटेस्ट पावरट्रॉनिक यू डोंट नीड टू यूज अ कंप्यूटर टू डू इट यू कैन डू इट ऑन द फोन एज वेल एंड अजय भाई ये तो घर पर भी ईजिली हो सकता है इसमें कुछ था या सो नाउ यू नो we just going to pack up uh, the motorcycle and uh, take it for a little spin everything's installed the powertronic unit sits here but we have run into a little bit of a problem uh, if you take a look at the stock seat you know the two piece seat that comes on the regular motorcycle um the um, toolkit sits under the rear seat over here and so when you remove the toolkit there is enough cavity over here to fit the powertronic unit now we have run into a problem ek bar hamari wali seat dikhaiye so in the rally seat if you'd see the toolkit cavity is here under the main seat the main area where the sorry here where the rider sits and not at the back so now when we are trying to fit this seat ek bar lagana normal wali seat बाई नॉर्मल आई मीन आर राली सीट वो निकाल दो उसके पीछे के ओके सो दिस इज नॉट रेली फिटिंग सो इट्स नॉट फिटिंग विद द पावरट्रॉनिक यूनिट द बॉक्स इन साइड बिकॉज दर इज जस्ट नो स्पेस सो वॉट वी नाउ नीड टू डू इज एक बार खोलोगे सीट को Okay so what we need to do is we need to move the powertronic unit from here 
to somewhere over here where you know this cavity is so that if it sits here then it will sit flush now the problem with that is we will have to remove the tank we will have to redo the entire wiring and only then we will be able to achieve that but that's not possible right now it's already 6 30 here it's closing time so i'm gonna come another day and get that done for now we'll just ride with the seat you know popping up slightly it's okay it's not a problem at all uh, not the ideal solution but um, we're trying to make the most of what is uh, the situation in front of us right now so it's okay you know the seat is popping a little a little right now but um, lesson learned now because these are prototype parts this is something that even race dynamics could not have known about i wouldn't have known about it ajay wouldn't have known about it but yeah it doesn't matter um, the powertronic is on the bike now oh, let's see Fun, fun, fun. 